Hi everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. Today's project is going to be part uh, tutorial and part inspirational. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working with a lot of different plastic bags to make some different costume aprons. And I have to admit right up front that I had some help with this project. My sister does a lot of work with plastic bags. Um, I'll put a link in the comments of this video or up in the corner throughout the video to link to her uh, a lot of her projects that she's made. She's done some really interesting things. But she has a lot of uh, different colored plastic bags because her friends have saved them for her. And um, if you look around, you can probably find more than just black and gray and white and brown. Um, newspaper bags are, are red and orange and there's some a lot of different colors out there if you really pay attention. But I didn't have a lot of colors on hand, so I did um, get my sister's help and borrow a lot of different colors from her for this project. All right, one other thing I forgot to mention is that a couple of weeks ago I did a video on three different ways to prep your plastic bags for crafting. And uh, one of those uh, things is how to remove the ink print from your bags. So if you're interested in finding out how to do that, um, you can click on the link right here. Okay, before we get started, I do just want to mention that um, while I will be doing some sewing on these aprons, I'm not going to go over the sewing aspect of it so much. Um, it, I'm kind of assuming that you know a little bit about sewing and how to put an apron together. I'm just going to be talking about making the designs and fusing the plastic. Um, so if there's anything that you want covered in a little more detail, please just let me know in the comments below and I may come back and do a future video. Right, to start this project, you're going to want to protect the surface that you're going to be ironing on. I have a marble top table, so it doesn't need a lot of protection, but I do have a layer of butcher paper um, underneath all of my plastic so that the plastic won't stick to the tabletop. And what I'm doing here is I'm just laying out the eighth layer of plastic bags that I've removed the print from. And I'm not really overlapping the bags as I lay them out, I'm just laying them a different direction on each layer. This first design is going to be a ghost apron. So I'm laying out a rectangle shape that's big enough to cut the ghost shape out of. And then I'm just using some black plastic to cut out the face of the ghost. So once I have the face laid out the way that I like it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper and lay it over the face because I want to hold those those piece those small pieces in place. And the thing I like about the parchment paper is that you can see through it and you can kind of uh, make sure that the the uh, plastic didn't move before you fuse it down. You want to be careful not to get the iron on the directly on the plastic. You want to make sure that you're ironing only on the parchment paper. But it doesn't take very long. You can use sort of a medium high setting and just slowly pass over a couple of different directions and you should have uh, the plastic fused together. So here I've got the face kind of fused on and now I'm going to go ahead and move around the rest of the design or the rest of the fabric and just fuse it together. Once I have the top fused, um, you want to flip the piece over and fuse it the same uh, way on the back side, just to make sure that it's completely fused together. Because this is a fairly simple design, I'm just sort of cutting the shape out freeform. And then to finish it, I decided to go back and just fuse on a couple of single layers of plastic for a little more lightweight and flowy look at the bottom. This picture shows eight layers of uh, plastic orange newspaper bags. These are some that I got from my sister and we use them to make a pumpkin shape. In this 
photo, we have a couple of trash bags and some white plastic to make a skeleton design. This cat design was a little print that I got from the online, and this is my most ambitious project. So what I did is I kind of traced out on butcher paper the basic design of the cat in the size of the apron. And then I used some parchment paper to trace out some of the details of the cat, the chest, an eye, and the nose. And then I used the, the plastic bags to cut out the shapes. Um, because I'm using white on top of black, I used about six layers for the chest piece and a couple layers for the eye and a few extra layers for the nose as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to pin the template to the plastic and go ahead and cut out the shapes. For the nose, I'm using a small piece of red newspaper bag, and then I have a Barnes & Noble bag that's kind of yellow for the eyes. This was a shipping envelope, but it had some nice silver uh, color to it, so I used it to kind of freeform cut some whiskers for the cat. So here I have uh, about four layers of uh, black plastic garbage bag. It's a little thicker so you don't need quite as many layers. And I'm going ahead and I'm just laying out the face of the cat. And I'm going to carefully fuse that on and then just kind of keep adding the design and carefully fuse as I go. So now that I have the face fused on, I'm going to go back and I'm tracing on my template the other white sections, like the tip of the tail, there's a little section uh, where his tail wraps around the bottom of his body, and also up at the ear. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut those pieces out and fuse them to the plastic as well.
once I have the design in place, I'm going back over the back of the piece and ironing it in both directions just to make sure that everything is solidly fused together. My plan was to just put the template on top and cut it out, but I should have mentioned before that um, the plastic shrinks up a little bit, so my piece of plastic ended up being a little bit skinnier than my original design. So here I'm just kind of retaping my design and trying to make it fit on the plastic. So once the template was in place, I went back and cut out around the outside edge. So there's my cat design ready to be sewn into an apron. So here's a quick look at the finished aprons once they were sewn together. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll check out some of my other videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and also check out my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com.